Good morning, good morning. Uh, it's like 6 a.m. and uh, I'm gonna go out and catch some pelicans, hypothetically. Uh, so this is my first real field work, uh, doing pelican stuff, uh, at least with transmitters ever. Uh, I went out last year, obviously, with the Gunnison banding stuff, but that's with uh, juvenile pelicans, and this time it's gonna be with adult pelicans, so I might get some, some big guys. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a crew of like seven or eight people, which I'm very apprehensive about, considering we live in the time of COVID. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think everyone's wearing masks, they better be. If not, I will make them. And um, yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes and hopefully we catch some pelicans, put some transmitters on. All right, we have our pelicans. So they're cooperatively feeding right now. Um, well, kind of, yeah, I guess they are. Um, so basically they are in a big group and they are corralling fish and they're gonna, at some point, synchronize, uh, not really dive, but synchronize gulp. Um, it's probably hard to tell in this video, but, um, so yeah, I think these are the pelicans that we're gonna go after today. So we'll put out a bunch of foothold traps in the mud here, uh, and I'll uh, show you in a second what it's like. Okay, so I didn't get great video of us actually putting out traps because, surprise, surprise, it's a really muddy and messy ordeal. Um, but I have a few pictures here of uh, what, what we were doing. Um, so basically we have these foothold traps, which um, are uh, repurposed coyote coyote foothold traps and the springs have been replaced so they are a lot gentler um and if you look at my other videos i have one up where i actually snap my hand in one <laughs> um but anyway uh so we put these foothold traps out and um we have to stake them into the ground um, underwater so you know if a pelican gets caught in it it can't just walk away with it and then um Pelicans are very, very neophobic, so they're very wary of things that they have never seen before. So we have to take all of the traps and bury them in the mud so they can't see them. Otherwise, they'll see them and just walk around them or, you know, sort of flee the area and go find somewhere else to loaf. So we got our uh, pelican stuff set up, and now we uh, just wait. So we put out like 90-some traps, and uh, yeah, so we them all out by a sandbar and some really shallow water and uh now we just we're gonna sit and wait we're maybe like a quarter mile away from the uh, traps and uh they're doing a bunch of work with a helicopter some spraying and stuff so that's been interesting uh but yeah so it's just a waiting game now it's maybe like 9 30 so get out here all day i guess So again, not a lot of video here, um, considering we're a little bit busy, uh, but first we ban the pelicans um, in case, you know, for some reason we, you know, have to let them go before we put the transmitter on. At least they have a band on them so we can identify, or somebody can identify them in the future. Um, and then uh, we go on and put the transmitter on and take a bunch of measurements while we're at it, including bill length. And we take a look at the wings um, to see how old the bird is. So uh, we caught two birds and they were both males, judging by how long their bills are. And uh, females have a little bit shorter bills. Um, and then, um, yeah, we put the transmitter on and custom fit this harness. So, you know, they're comfortable and, you know, they're wearing this thing correctly. Um, and then we, you know, tie knots in it and make sure it's secure, glue the knots so they're not going to come undone, um, make sure the transmitter's working and everything, and then the birds go off and, uh, live their lives. All right, we did it. We caught two pelicans, uh, and we only had two working transmitters, so we're, we're done. We're done for the year, as far as I know. Um, 
my fingers are covered in super glue and I am disgustingly sweaty and covered in marsh muck and it's fabulous. Um, yeah, so we put the two transmitters out and um, so we'll be getting data back from them um, as far as I know right now. Um, and yeah, so we'll follow them around, see how they're doing, see if they go down to Mexico for the winter and uh, yeah, hopefully they do okay. Um, you know, it seems like the transmitters went on really well, so um, yeah, I'm really excited and now I'm going to drive back and take a wonderful, wonderful shower because I feel so gross. But no pelicans pooped on me, so I'm good. <laughs>